What's up guys, Sila here, bringing you a UI guide. A few people have asked me what UI I'm using, how do you set it up, what does it come with, what add-ons are you using. So in this guide I'm going to cover everything that you'll need to know. So first of all you need to come to wowinterface.com and search for LUI. It'll be this one. It's currently on version 3. I think they're working on version 4, but yeah, at the moment it's version 3. Click the download and download it. Go to wherever you save your downloads to and then you want to extract it. Where is it? Yep, so just extract it to your desktop or wherever you want for now. So there it'll be. Excuse my extremely messy desktop. And inside this folder we'll have this. Add-ons, so all the add-ons that come with it. Buttons and glue. Now, there used to be an option to add additional add-ons. I don't know what happened to that. But yeah, inside here there used to be additional. And you could get some more add-ons. They seem to have got rid of the 40x assist, which I'll show you what it is in a minute, so you can download it on your own. But yeah, you just want to copy this interface folder. Well, leave it on your desktop for now. So go to your WoW folder. Here it is. And you want to copy your interface and WTF folder, copy it to your documents or your desktop again, and then delete them. I'm not going to delete them because my UI is already set up and I don't want to break it. But you delete them and then copy the interface folder from the LUI straight into here and you're done. Just log into WoW. Now for some people who aren't using an LUI UI, I want this guide to sort of help you as well. So normally you'll with a different UI you'll have interface and a WTF folder, with LUI you don't. If this is the case and you do have a WTF then you want to copy that in as well and then change the user to whatever your user account name is and then the realm to whatever realm you're on and then the character to whatever your character name is and then you're done. So now that's all out of the way let's log in. Okay so we're on the character screen and you'll have all your add-ons here now if a major patch has just happened and your add-ons aren't working then click the add-ons button in the bottom left and then go load out of date add-ons and this will make the UI completely working until all add-ons have been updated which they will do eventually it does take them a couple of weeks to get everything updated again just make sure you're constantly using the curse add-on client and everything will be done so I'll make a new character just to show you how to set up the UI we'll go with a Troll called Troll Lol. I think that's pretty suiting. It's Bald Troll. Da 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 Long login screen is long. Are we done? Are we done yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're done. We're done. Good. Years ago. So once you log in, you'll have. This is only for LUI. There might be some other add-ons that do the same thing, but um, this is how it'll be. Now I do have tidy plates, threat plates at, on top, so I'll get this box as well. So we'll say yes. I should have pressed no for now, just to get out of the way, but never mind. So yeah, your screen will look like this. You'll have LUI version 3 and you'll have a big install button. Now if you click this and it doesn't work, this usually happens after a major patch. So what you'll need to do is log out. If that was logging out. And it's usually one of three add-ons. It could be something else, but it's usually one of three add-ons that cause this bug, which won't let you click the install button which I will show you as soon as we log out. Any time today. There we go. So for me, it's use the grid. So we'll disable grid and it'll work, but it's sometimes recount. Recount's a dodgy one. And also uh, Forte Exist is a dodgy one. You must remember to never update uh, recount because it will 
bug out and like not work properly but if you do re um, update recount just go to the LUI forums and there's a way to fix it it'll have like dodgy text and it won't look how it should so now we've got rid of grid it'll install simple as and then you just log out and turn grid back on and grid will work so we've got these buttons at the top and these will enable the that one enables the background color for the chat that enables omen this will enable recount and that one would enable grid if it was enabled so first of all we need to move recount and grid but because grid's not there we can't move that at the moment so unlock that and we'll move it into place now this is how the default UI looks and the bars like that now I have my bars slightly different so we're gonna go to slash bar profiles and change it to default and it'll set it up exactly how I have my bars with all the key bindings which is pretty nice we've also got some other add-ons which shouldn't be where they are I don't know what that, oh, that bar is part of this which hasn't been aligned but I'll align that in a second so the add-ons we've got is bartender this bar here is 40 x assist now up there is usually my paladin add-on which is the CLC rep it's not on this video because I made a, a warrior, I should have made a paladin. We've got deadly boss mods, which is your raiding add-on, which is pretty sweet. We'd have grid here, we've got bartender, and what else have we got? Let's have a look. Luke in the booth. Oh, we've also got mixed scrolling battle text and click. Click is a really good add-on that goes along with uh, grid. It allows you to like left click someone's name on grid and heal them for example and I'll show you what mixed scrolling battle text does now so if we can attack this can you see the text going down the sides it shows me what how much damage I take and how much damage I do it'll also show you healing done healing done to you healing done by you and stuff like that and that's mixed scrolling battle text So with that out of the way, that's pretty much all the add-ons. Now we're going to set them up. So you want to click this cog, you want to left click it, and this will open this page. Now you can change the colours first of all, like Death Knight Red, which is what I use. Or there's some other colours as well, you choose whichever one you like the look of, we'll go with Death Knight Red. Then you can change all the other colours if you really want, like you can make the chat frame more like colourful if you know what I mean. So if we go use full texture, it'll make it full red, like that. This is to change the scale, so for example, if this window is a bit too small for you, you can make it huge. But for me, it's not too bad. If you're on a laptop, it probably will be out of scale. We've got unit frames, so here you could like disable party frames, which I do because I don't like them, and it'll say it needs to reload, which you need to do. You can change the target so you can get rid of debuffs, which I also do. Um, auras, player buffs only, so it'll only show my buffs on the target, which is good. And you can change other things. What else have we got that needs to go through? 40 Exorcist, you'll need to download this separately now, but I think LUI will automatically pick it up. I'm not too sure about that. See, when I downloaded it, it already had it with it, so I'm not too sure when that got changed or how it's been changed. You can also make it so that, for example, if you don't want to use Grid, you don't have to, so you can just change it. If you install Healbot, you just come to Frames and then change it to Healbot and it'll update the frame for you. Or if you want to use a different DPS add-on like SCADA, you can do that. And for Threat as well. That's pretty much it. It's a really easy and simple UI to set up. When I make alts, it's done within like 5 minutes. Some UIs, apart from UI, uh, LUI, take a long time to set up. That's pretty much my whole UI. I do have a couple of extra add-ons like NPC scan, Atlas loot. Atlas loot will show you all the loot from different bosses and also professions like crafted materials. It's a really nice add-on. 
NPC scan will alert you when there's a rare elite in your sort of area. Let's log out and see if we've got any other add-ons that I've missed. So we've got NPC scan which is the um, rare elite finder, we've got Atlas loot which will show you the boss loots plus professions and some other cool stuff. We've got bartender, we've got click which works well with grid. We've got CLC Rat, which is the retribution uh, rotation helper. Forte Exorcist. Gladius, that's a PvP arena round on, really useful. Grid, which is disabled, we can enable that again. Log ahead, this is good for logging combat logs, if you're uploading to like world of logs for example. LUI, this is the main thing. Mixed scroll in battle text, that's both of those add-ons, is the damage coming down the left and right side. Overlay is another rotation helper. Prospect is just like you can right click to prospect stuff, really useful. Recount, damage add on, spell flash. I tried that out as a hunter uh, rotation helper and it wasn't too good, so I just leave that out. Tidy plates, this is the like name plates above enemies, which is, I really do recommend having name plates on, it's really useful. Deadly boss mods is the raid add ons, and that's all I use. It seems like quite a lot, but there's only about 10 add-ons if you get rid of like the 20 of the same add-on kind of thing. So I hope this guide helps you out. If you've got any additional questions, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. See ya.